Honorable Speaker, may I take first, allow me to take this opportunity to thank the Senate, the Honorable Members of the Senate, the entire Senate, for supporting the uh, affordable housing uh, levy bill that uh, came through the Senate. After an elaborate uh, discussion, we have now uh, a law that was assented to on 19th of March by His Excellency. Thank you very much for your participation and approval. Honorable Speaker, the question by the Honorable Senator for Masabit, and I also appreciate that he's on board because he has invented an apology. Uh, we should be able to work together. Since 2017, Honorable Speaker, the government, I, I want to go to the four questions. I think this question is in four parts, as you have rightly pointed out, Honorable Speaker. In the first one, of course, he's asking me to indicate the value of each parcel of government-owned uh, land that has been designated for affordable housing project in Nairobi, Mobasa, Nakuru, and Kisumu counties, and indicate how many of the parcels are currently being or have been developed since 2017. Since 2017, the government has identified and designated about 575 land parcels, totaling to about 12,000 acres distributed across the country. These parcels were submitted by the ministries, individual ministries, uh, counties, departments. Uh, Madam Sears, yes. because this, uh, I can see your response is quite long eh? Yes. and very elaborate. So I wanted to get from the Honourable Member whether he has been able to go through this response so that we can save some time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Which, you have, which yes. specific section do you feel yes. that you need? Yeah, then I can be directed yes, to that. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Part of thank, you. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. I'm uh, satisfied because with Let me finish. The answers are finished. Yeah. Because the way you have really appreciated and you also said you are now on board. <laughs> it's like this question was <laughs> before. <laughs> On the last question before, now you, you came on board yes. with that act. Honorable Speaker, I, I've, I've gone through the, the answers and I'm happy and comfortable with them, but I have a, a supplementary questions. You have no, yeah, good. Then if there is any other member on affordable housing, like Senator, uh, first we go to Senator Mohamed Faki. You said you have no supplementary questions. I have, I have, sub two, uh, I have supplementary questions. Oh, okay. Uh, Just ask your supplementary questions so that it can be specific. We thank you. Uh, minutes. Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Speaker. Article 43.1b is very clear on the issue of uh, uh, settling people. Uh, and uh, I wanted the Cabinet Secretary to note that we had former Buxton tenants who came who, in fact, brought a petition to this house. And I am uh, in the Committee of Housing, Roads and Housing, and we d decided and agreed that these people should be resettled, 184 in number, to be given the first priority to be resettled in Buxton Estate. I want the Cabinet Secretary to tell us if these people are going to be settled, when we are going to be settled, and if she can give a an appointment through this house for those people to come and sit with her and finalize this matter. Uh, the, issue, the other issue I have is uh, on rural housing. The cabinet uh, secretary is aware that we passed, uh, the amended law has the issue, a component of rural housing. I want to know in her regulations, what is she going to do for those people who cannot afford urban housing, who want to, reset, who want to settle in Marsabit, is your Lord and those places? How uh, is she going to cater for those people that can be settled in those areas? Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Madam uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker. Um, the Honorable Senator is, uh, has been following on the issue of. Uh, the tenants that had occupied the land in the Buxton uh, uh, project in Mombasa, you call, they are 184, according to the Honorable Senator. 
if these people have leadership, because I don't want uh, to confirm that you can bring 184 uh, people into my office, but if they have leadership, then the leadership can uh, actually uh, visit me or uh, wait when I go to Mombasa because maybe I, I can plan better go to Mombasa and we deal it at that level instead of them coming all the way to Nairobi. Uh, so we then we can see what issues are still remaining, but in the meantime those issues can be documented and forwarded to me through your office, Honorable Senator, or through the leadership. I suppose these people have some leadership. Through their leadership, they can document the issues, send to me, and then looking at the issues, then I'll be able to make a decision to either visit, uh, go to Mombasa, and uh, we have a meeting there in Mombasa. On the question of rural housing, uh, Honorable Speaker, I think this was a provision that this Senate found necessary in our affordable housing uh, 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 law and uh, we obviously as a ministry our work is to implement we are preparing the regulations and I, for me I think what is important is I believe Senate will be part of that uh, preparation I may not give be able to give a concrete answer because this will require us to examine materials, technology and the budget and of course the, the, the probability how do we in terms of economics of scale how do we manage to who and how do we deal with in terms of our rural setup as, as you can imagine we are talking about the whole country there will be need for a budget we need to rationalize and we need to see what is suitable and whatever material that government puts in money on, that material must also be put in the code, the building code that approves materials and actually the building code is coming to the house and, and therefore it is not an answer that you can get immediately but it is something that we will all work on. Of course we need to look at technology as part of the solutions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Senator Nyonka, Richard. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, <coughs> the reason why you saw I was nearly becoming anxious was because I have not had an opportunity to meet the CS before she became the CS because the last time I was with her, she was making a political commentary on TV and she was saying, we will win and you will lose. And I said, no, you will lose and we will win. And then she told me, in fact, Uhuru and his friends and everybody will go. And then I'm shocked. Now the other side is now telling Mamangina, sorry, we are coming to be with you, sorry. So I was excited, Mr. Speaker, to see her because I have utmost respect for her. Madam CS, I also want to... Uh, sincerely thank you for confirming Mr. Nyandoro. You know he happens to come from where he does, but I'm happy that you looked at meritocracy and agreed to give the best qualified person the job. I really thank you for that. Mr. Speaker, the question, I, supplementary question I'm asking the CS is maybe suggestive. Would the minister be comfortable to actually confirm to this house that the issues that are, that are bedeviling the Ministry of Lands and the land question in this country is because of very simple things. For example, we have no spatial planning which is completed. We do not know which pieces of land were allocated and who allocated them and whether they suffice on the legality of their existence. That the issues that you have that are in Kitale right now about prisons land are really questions which are historical and that the challenges we have is that the institutions that are supposed to function and indeed one, uh, one of the, those institutions is her ministry has been unable to perform and deliver on the issue of land. Would the minister be comfortable to tell this house whether therefore it's possible that she can make sure that in the shortest time possible we have special planning and so that we can be able to do what the Rwanda government has done and Mr. Speaker what is shocking 
or maybe not shocking is that the people who did the special planning for the country known as Rwanda are Kenyans and they are known. Is it possible that we can also do that so that when somebody is buying land or when somebody has been allocated land or when somebody is having a problem with their land, they can immediately you know, have the detail, the size of the land, the location of the land, the value of the land and any development on that land. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, um, uh, Madam C.S. Honorable Speaker, uh, I want to take uh, the commendation and the congratulatory note from the Honorable Senator in humility because uh, he knows that we did very many debates with him at the national television and uh, many times he would get very upset with my contributions uh, but uh, that was for debate purposes and I warned him severally, he refused to listen and I, I hope uh, that I have permission to speak like that on this floor but uh, I hope he well, can... the two of you <laughs> if I have to present Alice. Thank you, thank you. Are you sure I, I hope you will the, read the signs now Ali uh, so that uh, then we can be on the same page <laughs> And, uh, uh, but um, say, suffice to say that uh, he is a very adult, very, very able debater and uh, we, we really benefited all of us from his contributions during the debates. Uh, may I say, Honorable Speaker, that uh, he raises very fundamental issue in terms of what is ailing the entire ministry in respect of especially then the land tenure, land security. The question of land security is critical, is key. And uh, we, as we plan, we are planning with that in mind because we would want to guarantee security of uh, tenure and security of records. And that's why we have agreed as a government, as a ministry, to go digital, to digitize, to ensure that you can at least, you know, the stories, even today, Honorable Speaker, as I stand here, I get very upset because my, 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 my officers know that I have said that there is no way you can give me a response that the file is missing. Whenever a file is missing, there is some funny business going on or some irregularities uh, likely to be committed by disappearance of a file. But uh, this is something that the country must also now agree and I take the opportunity on the speaker to, to urge, to urge the public not to take matters, land security casually and not to engage in buying land that they have not received a proper certification in terms of searches and record checks by the land registries. Having said that, I have also told the government officers managing our registries that they will take personal responsibilities. And we have so far, Honorable Speaker, taken I think three or four, two are under suspension since I came in, and the two are already facing court charges because of uh, irregular uh, recording or, or documentation of land. Oh, no, but it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a task. The answer will be technology, use of technology and digitization. And therefore, honorable senator, I, feel, I believe as a country, that is something we must aspire and that's what we should be looking forward to. I should be made, to, uh, put to task to be able during my tenure to complete digitization. We have two types of spatial planning. 